Hello and welcome to this special report on the economic situation in Turkey, where inflation is soaring to unprecedented levels amid a currency crisis and rising oil prices. In this report, we will examine the causes and consequences of Turkey's inflation problem and what the government and the central bank are doing to address it. Turkey has long struggled with excessive inflation, but things have gotten much worse in 2023. The annual inflation rate in Turkey increased for the second consecutive month in August 2023, from 47.8% in July, according to the most recent statistics from the Turkish Statistical Institute, exceeding market expectations of 55.9%. As a result of tax rate increases, rising food prices and the weakening of the lira, this reading was the highest since December of last year. 72.9% was an eight-month high for food inflation. Housing and utilities contributed 25%, transportation 70%, furniture and home equipment 58.9%, and health 77.6% of the additional upward pressures. In August, the core inflation rate, which excludes volatile goods like food and energy, rose to a nine-month high of 64.9%, up from 56.1% in July. Following a 9.5% increase in July, the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which tracks changes in the prices of a variety of goods and services, grew by 9.1% on a monthly basis. These numbers show that domestic causes, such as the strong demand for goods and services during the economic recovery from the pandemic, as well as external variables, such as the currency rate and global commodity prices, are also driving the inflationary pressures in Turkey. The cost of borrowing money and paying off debt has gone up due to the high inflation rate, which has also reduced the purchasing power of individuals and enterprises. Turkey's inflation outlook is still unclear and difficult because of supply-side and demand-side shocks that may cause prices to rise much more in the upcoming months. The collapse of Turkey's currency, the lira, which has lost more than half of its value against the US dollar since the start of 2022, is one of the main causes of inflation in that country. Political unpredictability, geopolitical tensions, deteriorating ties with the US and EU, a lack of foreign exchange reserves are just a few of the reasons why the lira has been under pressure. Import costs have increased due to the weaker lira, and consumers' and producers' expectations of inflation have increased. Due to Turkey's obligation to pay off its debt in foreign currencies denominated in devalued lira, the risk of a balance of payments crisis has increased as a result of the lira's depreciation. By increasing interest rates and intervening in the foreign exchange market, the central bank has attempted to stabilize the lira, but these efforts have not been successful in fostering investor confidence and lira appreciation. The lira remains vulnerable to external and internal shocks that might further erode its value and fuel inflation. The lira's decline increases the cost of imports, particularly those of energy and raw materials, which make up a sizable portion of Turkey's import bill. Turkey is heavily reliant on imported gas and oil to supply around 75% of its energy requirements. Turkey purchased crude oil on average of 0.8 million barrels per day in 2022, primarily from Iraq, Russia, Iran and Saudi Arabia, according to the US Energy Information Administration. In 2022, Turkey also imported roughly 0.5 million barrels of petroleum products and about 0.5 TCF of natural gas. Turkey's inflation problems have been made worse by the rising oil costs on the world market. After declining for two straight sessions, the West Texas Intermediate WTI benchmark for U.S. crude climbed above $91 per barrel on Monday, as risk sentiment strengthened following a last-minute agreement reached by U.S. lawmakers to avoid a government shutdown. Ahead of a Wednesday OPEC meeting, investors were also paying attention to the prospects for a constrained global supply. Analysts anticipate no policy adjustments from OPEC this week, despite the market being supported by tighter supply and strong demand. Data made public over the weekend revealed that Chinese manufacturing activity began to expand in September, improving the outlook for demand in the top crude importer in the world. Meanwhile, 
Sustained production cuts from Saudi Arabia and Russia helped the U.S. oil benchmark conclude September and the third quarter up roughly 9% and 29%, respectively. On June 26, the price of Brent crude oil, which Turkey uses as a benchmark for its oil imports, was $74.35 a barrel, compared to $69.37 for WTI oil and $74.65 for the OPEC basket. The average price of Brent is predicted to fall from $101 per barrel in 2022 to $83 per barrel in 2023 and $78 per barrel in 2024. Similar trends are predicted for the WTI price, which is expected to average $77 per barrel in 2023 and $72 per barrel in 2024. The International Energy Agency, IEA, which issues monthly assessments on the global oil market, provided the assumptions upon which these estimates were based. The IEA anticipates that the COVID-19 pandemic's effects on oil consumption would progressively subside, but that the growth of renewable energy sources, the implementation of climate regulations, and the geopolitical unpredictability in some oil-producing countries may provide some difficulties. As some big producers, like OPEC and its partners, relax their production cuts and increase their output, the supply of oil is also anticipated to rise. As a result, the global oil market supply and demand equilibrium is likely to remain unstable and sensitive to a variety of events that could affect oil prices. Turkish firms and consumers have less purchasing power as a result of the high inflation rate, which has decreased their real income and profits. Moreover, it has made the economy more volatile and unstable, which discourages saving and investing. As well, it has damaged the credibility and independence of the central bank, which President Recep Tayyip Erdogan had been pressuring to maintain low interest rates despite rising inflation. Inflation in Turkey is currently predicted to reach 58% by the end of 2023, according to the central bank's new governor Hafiz Gay Erkin who made her official debut on July 27th. The stronger-than-expected domestic demand, changes in economic policy, exchange rate developments, and a new forecasting methodology, according to Erkin, all played a part in the higher projection. She said that the central bank would keep its monetary policy tight unless the inflation outlook significantly improved. Since November 2022, when it was at 10.25%, the central bank has hiked its policy rate a total of 1,500 basis points, bringing it to 25.75% as of September 2023. The real interest rate, which is calculated as the nominal interest rate less the inflation rate, is still negative. Thus, those who keep assets denominated in lira continue to lose money. In order to strengthen the lira and control inflation, the central bank has also employed various strategies, such as reserve requirements and liquidity management. Given the political influence, the lack of openness and the lack of communication, several analysts and investors, nevertheless, have doubts about the viability and durability of the central bank's policies. They also dispute the government's dedication to structural reforms and fiscal restraint, both of which are necessary to address the underlying inequalities and weaknesses in the Turkish economy. In conclusion, Turkey is struggling with a serious inflation problem that jeopardizes its social welfare and economic stability. The main causes of Turkey's inflation issue include the depreciation of the currency, the increase in oil costs, and the country's shoddy institutional setup. To rebuild trust and limit inflation, the central bank and the government must take decisive and credible action. Otherwise, Turkey might experience a more serious crisis with implications for the rest of the region as well as beyond. Thank you for watching this special report on Turkey's inflation. Stay tuned for more updates on this topic and other global issues.